You guys want to see how I made this? Okay, stay tuned. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today is an oldie but a goodie, a throwback to the first canvas glitter art that I ever did. Um, this was um, basically inspiration or I was feeding off of the inspiration from my office. It is currently hanging up in my office. And as you can see now on the screen, these are the supplies that I use. Um, of course, a canvas, pink, gold, rose gold, and white, and hologram paint. Also glitter, pink glitter, white glitter, gold glitter, um, Mod Podge, crushed glass, and E6000, amongst other things. Of course, use whatever colors you want. Use as many different colors as you like, or as few. Um, what I did to start off is I painted the canvas, which was already white, with the hologram paint. You guys, you know, you can't really tell what it is here, but it is called hologram. It reminds me of that cotton candy fingernail polish from back in the day that everybody used to get. You guys know, y'all remember that. Um, so that was the first thing I did. And I let that dry. Then I went in and most of this um, paint came from Walmart. Um, the crushed glass came from Michaels. Um, excuse her. The canvas came from Michaels or Hobby Lobby, whoever had it on sale that week. Um, so what I'm doing now is because my goal was to have the pink really pop and stand out, is to um, paint the center, as you can see, it's strong, long, brush strokes and kind of dragging the paint out you know to make those staggery lines and this was actually the inspiration that I used for this painting and as you can see I just used the colors that I wanted Yeah, and what you'll see here, I'm actually dragging the paint out. I'm trying to um, get that faded look towards the outside. You know, it's solid uh, in the middle, and then you kind of drag the brush out. And it, I don't even know how to explain it. But honestly, I liked it like that. But you know we can't stop there. We got to take it up a couple of more notches. So here we go with the rose gold metallic. Now what I will say is I feel like putting it in this order caused the gold to be um, more prominent. So I would suggest that you do, you know, the gold or whatever that bottom color is gonna be first and then put the pink on top. But it did work out. I did bring the pink back to life and make it pop. We're just gonna stay tuned. So now I just applied the Mod Podge. So the Mod Podge is what I'm going to use to stick the glitter to it. The one I just showed you is the fine white glitter. I also have um, chunky holograph glitter as well that I'm going to apply. Yes, honey, shake it like a salt shaker. Hey, <laughs> yin yang and insane. I actually love the glitter that's in shakers. It's so much easier to use. Also, um, yeah, I'm starting to like the alcohol ink instead of having to scoop the mica powder out, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, yes, shake it.
Okay, time for more Mod Podge and glitter. Okay, so what I'm doing here is applying a mixture of Mod Podge and water, like one-to-one, -to, -one, to seal in the glitter that I applied. Here we go with more Mod Posh, more glitter because it's just never enough. Okay, this is getting good. So here comes my favorite part of any DIY or art project is the big bling, okay? And this is the crushed glass in the color pink from Michaels. Be sure to use your 40% off coupon if you're gonna get it from there. And I'm adhering it using the E6000 because I was not sure that the Mod Podge would hold it, but you guys, I've tested it on other projects and it will. So as you can see here, I did use a spoon to kind of smush the glass into the E6000. And then after I applied it all, I did set something with a little bit of weight on top of it so that it would dry.
so you guys that's pretty much it this is where it resides in my office opposite its inspiration and along with a couple of other special pieces that I like um, I would like to and I feel like need to complete this area by adding some wall sconces or something on each side of that painting let me know if you guys have any ideas on that um, but yeah this is the inspiration for the painting that I made and I got that at Hobby Lobby anyway if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more